Hi there Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your September 2017 reading. We will see what comes up. Generally I do love readings, but uh, I'm open to whatever comes up. Here we have the Emperor. This is about organization, control, structure, discipline. Um, he's a family man. It's also the sign of Aries. Um, very strong, authoritative, dominant. Maybe you're not really thinking about love too much this week. Not that you're not in love or anything like that, but I think that maybe this is just a week where you're feeling, this is the first week of September where you're feeling nostalgic. You know, maybe you're thinking about something from the past. Maybe you're thinking about something from your childhood. And maybe you're feeling just a little closed up, okay, this first week of September. Perhaps you're, you're working on bringing yourself some inner peace. Um, and it looks like perhaps something that you have been waiting for might be in sight. So this is the first week of September. We're going to get a lot more cards, but I see there's a lot of um, need for structure in your life right now. First week of September. Maybe you're concentrating on your home. Maybe you are cleaning house, you know, um, reorganizing. Uh, maybe you're upgrading, you know. Um, it looks like you're really feeling quite comfortable at home. Uh, I think there's something going on behind the scenes that you aren't aware of. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but there's some, some kind of hidden forces. Perhaps you have some fear of something. This is going on into the second week. You're having some fear of something. Maybe you're afraid that something's going on and you don't know what it is. Uh, I see that we have a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, maybe they want to offer you some emotional support and you're not really considering it. Maybe there's somebody from your past that you're going to reconnect with this second week. Could be the first week, okay, because it's connected to that. Maybe it's somebody from the past that is trying to reconnect with you and you've, you're just having a time of, uh, you know, not. it feels like you're not accepting uh, new love or emotional support at this time for some reason. I think that you're concentrating on your home and I think you're trying to bring some structure back to your life and you're trying to bring some peace. You know, I think you're trying to work on some inner peace. I feel like, um, and that's where you're focusing your energy. We have cancer twice now. We also have an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Yeah, I think you are trying to bring back some inner peace. I think that you've been through going through a period of depression, probably feeling like you are alone. I think we've talked about this before, Taurus. I think that your fear of what your fear of the unknown is a big, big deal, and that's why you're trying to bring some peace back into your life. Now this is September. This is going on through the month. <laughs> now we're down to like the 15th or the 16th, and you're feeling quite depressed. So I feel like something is, is overcoming you emotionally, which is causing you to withdraw, okay? It's causing to you to withdraw. Um, and I think it has to do with fear. I mean, you definitely, it looks like, it looks like you have, um, we're going to get on to love in a minute. I want to keep going. I know a lot of you want to hear about love, but I'm open to hearing whatever comes out. Um, I see you very independent. Here we have you independent, being taking care of your quite self quite well, just focusing on your home, focusing on your foundation. Um, 
perhaps you have a choice between two men, you know, from your past. No kidding. One could be a, a water sign, could one could be an air sign. Um, and you need to make a choice between two. I mean, this is going to resonate with some. I mean, this is for several hundreds of Taurus people. So this part might resonate with you, and this part might resonate with the next person. That's just the way it is. Okay? Maybe all of it will resonate with somebody. You never know. I see that there's change on the horizon. I think there's a lot going on right now during this month. I see that it's a time that you just need to master your emotions, and I think that that is what you're working on. I think that you are working on bringing structure and control back to your life. You're working on healing. You're working on mastering your emotions. Um, you're working on your home. I think that you're, you are just trying to get very comfortably set in your home. Perhaps you're changing things around. Um, perhaps things are really busy right now, and it's a time of change for you. I think that you planted some seeds a long time ago, and you've been waiting for them to come to fruition, and um, you've invested a lot of time in something. Um, and I think it's your security. I think it's your foundation. I think it's your home. I think it's your, your job. I think that you've invested a lot of time, and you've been waiting for success, and I think that you are very successful, but I think you're waiting for something else. And I think whatever you planted a long time ago is finally going to come to fruition. I see that the ships are going to come in. And the peace that you have been seeking is on the way. Okay, it's on the way. But you still have some fear which is causing you to lose sleep. It could cause you, you know, stress makes you sick. So I think whatever fear, the fear of the unknown is making you sick. Okay, so I think that's a, that's a big message for you. Taurus. We're going to get some more cards and see what comes up. I'm just going to zoom that in, but I don't know. I remembered. I'm good for getting to zoom things in. Now I'm going to get another deck, The Wild Unknown see what comes up. The first deck is the Witch's Tarot. Oh, overindulgence. Maybe you're overindulging in the need to escape something. Maybe, you know, you're overwhelmed for some reason. Um, I see there's a lot of thoughts from the past. So maybe you're you're mulling over something in the past that you just can't get through and you're longing to bring peace to it or forgiveness or healing, but, you know, it hasn't happened yet. So maybe you, you're overindulging in alcohol or food or spending or something to to mask the, the feeling, okay? But I think it's about time you master your emotions, okay? With that chariot, it's putting yourself in the driver's seat. It is... Replacing fear with faith and strength. That's what the chariot is. So whatever this fear layer is that is, is wrecking havoc on your inner peace, okay, it is time to replace that fear with faith. You need to have mental strength. You can't hide behind any overindulgences forever because it will eventually kill you if you do. It's a time of change. It's a time of change. You know, you can't let all that you have worked for, all that you have accomplished, um, just be an illusion. Okay? You can't let it just be an illusion. You have to go for your dreams. Go for your wishes. You, you are, you have made progress. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm not doing reverse. I do know how to do reverse. I don't want to hear that comment. You don't do reverse. I don't need to do reverse. Simple as that. Okay, that's how I feel. And I follow my beliefs. This right here, six of, six of wands. Things are going to look up. I think your self-respect is coming back. Okay, when your self-respect comes back, because you focus on yourself for a little while, then you start to feel more peaceful inside and it leads to the ultimate happiness okay this is the ultimate happiness along with this one okay so you have it happiness is within reach okay it is this is a month of um 
moderation. Okay, this is a month of moderation. It's supposed to be anyway. Okay, it's time for you to moderate it. Moderate your um, indulgences. Okay, and it's a time of going within. It's a time of healing. Okay, it's a time of bringing peace back to your life. This whole month, you know, there's other things that happen in the month. There could be two people in your life, a uh, uh, water sign and an air sign. Okay, and I this it could be a father figure, but it could be an Aries as well. Okay, there also could be some kind of inheritance. Okay, there could be from a father, could be something like that, or somebody in an authoritative role. Um, I see that you're thinking about the past a lot either way. Um, this is about mastering your emotions and moving on because you, I think that you've been overindulging with something. You have, when you master your emotions, usually you need to go within to do that and recenter your psyche, okay? This is about a change. It is time for a change, okay? And you know that. And I think that self-respect is one of the biggest ones. Okay, that, that needs to change. It will bring a lot of peace and happiness to your life. This right here is the same as this one. It's an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but it is an, an Aries. Um, so you have Aries a couple times. Ace of Pentacles. The ability to manifest. This is a new prosperity, a new beginning, a new foundation, a new stability. There could be some money coming in from somewhere. There really, really could be. Okay, this is um, also, with the other cards, this is about action. Things are going to start happening in your favor. Like I said, the seeds were planted long, long time ago, maybe even before you were born. Okay, something is going to come to fruition that you have been waiting for, and it can lead to a lot of happiness. All right? Um, I think this month is about healing. And it's about bringing peace back to your life. And I don't think that love is at the forefront. I think that love is at the forefront, but not really. I think it's about you bringing structure and control back to your life. I know that you want love, but this all leads to love. So that's why I say love isn't, it is, but it isn't. It is, it leads to love, but your self-respect is right in the middle. So that is the biggest, biggest message to me, that you need to manifest your own renewed self-respect and peace. You need to bring peace back to your life. It leads to happiness. So we're going to get two more cards. I'm going to try to make these quick. I rearranged my table. This is September 1st through the, what is it, 30th? You're the first one I'm doing. Through the end of the month. I'm going to do the 1st through the 15th as well, and I'm going to make those love readings. This is a general. It's not a love reading, I can tell. So I've decided I am going to do the love readings. I needed to anyway. Two came out. This happened to you for last month, too. I think it did for you. It did for only one, one sign. I think it was you. I'm going to read them. Adventure. Against a background taken from an original vintage postcard, the spirit of adventure prepares for her voyage into the unknown. She readies the reins of her butterfly escort for takeoff. Adventure wings its way toward the receiver, bearing tales of discovery, renewed inspiration, and exploration from foreign lands. This card speaks of willingness to learn. The spirit of adventure tests both rational and intuitive boundaries and beckons us to boldly step into the realm of uncertainty and risk. Yeah, it's that fear. Now is the time to review your direction or contemplate a new way of dealing with an existing situation. Excellent card for this reading. Inner or outer adventures, adventures have the power to inspire new perspectives, which may involve some pain and discomfort as we find the courage to discard outmoded ideas and behaviors that no longer serve our journey. 
By drawing on your inner resources and connecting with your deepest potential, the soul can be touched and up touched and uplifted as profoundly from an armchair as it can out in the world. Adventure in any dimension compels us to overcome obstacles and move efficiently toward our goals and dreams. The presence of this card could also mark the start of a new phase in your life. Reset your internal compass, shake the dust from your wings, and head for new horizons. Perfect card for the reading. Not just a good card, a perfect card. All right, let's go to choice. A maiden steps poised in the heart of an ancient ruin. She is surrounded by three footpaths leading in different directions, but she can only choose one. Red is the vibrant color of blood and fire. Her crimson gown and flowers along the pathway suggest a mood of energy, life force, and vitality, which may be needed to facilitate wise, wise choices. <laughs> it's true. Oh, my God. Remember I said you need to go within? This is great. I'm going to read again. Her crimson gown and flowers along the pathway suggests a mood of energy, life force, and vitality, which may be needed to facilitate, facilitate wise choices. The green foliage hints at the potential for new growth and the need for balance. She holds a shining crystal sphere in the palm of her hand. Crystal spheres, long revered as the ancient symbol of unity and total, tot totality, can be, can be a useful tool, tool to see a complete picture of self or situations. Yes, you need, that's what needs to happen. Can be a useful tool to see a complete picture of self or situations. Like I said, you need to go within. Ugh. The presence of a dove overhead suggests peace. <laughs> We've talked about this. The presence of a dove overhead suggests peace is more likely to prevail if choices made are born out of love and respect. Discrimination, intuition, and common sense play a vital role in deciphering needs from whims and wishes. They are worlds apart, so be sure to dis distinguish what is necessary before taking decisive action. Be still. Listen to the guidance of your internal conscience. And in the words of William Shakespeare, to thine own self be true. <laughs> wow, I think that was perfect. I really do. I can't think of another... another um, anything better than those two cards. This is for September general reading. I am going to do a love reading for the first half of September and the second half of September. Thank you so much for coming to me.